Now it's time to prepare to launch. Pay careful attention to these next steps as they are critical to a safe and successful launch. The first step is to double check that our rocket is 100% inflated and retaining air pressure. Check to make sure that there is not too much slack in the rocket body and that it is securely in the foam rocket base. To ensure we have a successful launch, make sure the launch pad is level. You will know that it is when the metal ball that is located at the exact center of the leveling gauge is sunk into the middle hole. If your rocket is off center, use the height adjustment knobs on the two legs in order to center that metal ball. In order for the rocket to launch correctly, the ball must be in the center hole. Now it's time to pressurize the rocket for a successful launch. Take your pump and place both feet on the base. It will take approximately 140 pumps to reach the maximum launch height. Take your time with these pumps and make sure to make good long strokes in order to get the most air out of each one. Be careful not to bend or overextend the pump as this may cause damage and the pump may not function properly. Around 15 pumps you should hear a gurgling noise. This noise is perfectly normal and is actually a good sign. This means that we're pressurizing the rocket perfectly. Once you reach 140 pumps, your gauge should read launch. If it is still not in the green launch zone, continue to pump until it is. Now that your rocket is ready to launch, take your pressure release bulb, stand far back as possible. When you're ready to launch, make sure to squeeze the bulb quickly and firmly and watch it fly. Three, two, one. 